Of the Maharashtra's government renaming Aurangabad and Usmanabad, the AIMIM is now slamming Maharashtra's Chief Minister Eknath Shinde. AIMIM MP Imtiaz Jalil has tweeted saying, and I quote, Aurangabad is, was and will always be our city. Now wait for our show of strength for Aurangabad. A massive morcha for our beloved city. Get ready, Aurangabadis, to defeat these forces. The BJP playing politics in the name of our city. We condemn and we will fight. Let's also listen in to what Imtiaz Jalil has to say. हमने हमेशा से ही इस तरह की जो सरकार की कोशिशें रह रही है कि किसी सड़क का नाम बदल दो किसी बगीचे का नाम बदल दो किसी रेलवे स्टेशन का एयरपोर्ट का नाम बदल दो शहरों के नाम बदल दो लेकिन मुद्दों का हमने पहले से ही विरोध किया है और इसलिए किया है कि इतिहास अच्छा हो सकता है इतिहास बुरा हो सकता है आप इतिहास के पन्नों को किताबों से फाड़ सकते हैं आप अपने बोर्ड को वहां से हटाकर अपना बोर्ड लगा सकते हैं लेकिन इतिहास इतिहास है आप कितना कन्वीनियंटली तो शहर का नाम बदल देते हैं उसका रिपरकशन उसका इम्पैक्ट क्या होने वाला है फाइनेंशियल एप्लीकेशन कितना होने वाला है जो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स हजारों की संख्या के अंदर बाहर पढ़ने के लिए गए है उनको अब कितनी दिक्कतों का सामना करना पड़ेगा सारे डॉक्यूमेंट चेंज करने पड़ते हैं all right, for more uh, details, we'll quickly be joined in uh, by our Mumbai Bureau Chief Vinaya Deshpande. But for now, this is the latest. Uh, some very valid points being raised by uh, the AIMIM MLA Imtiaz Jalil over there, stating that this is not just going to be problematic in terms uh, of the social reality of the country, but also on paper as far as students who are studying abroad, uh, the, the kind of red tapeism that it will be involving is also something that Jalil has highlighted. In the meantime, let me also contextualize this entire controversy for you and with, for that I am joined in by Vinaya on the phone line. Vinaya, the anger and frustration is rather palpable at the moment. Uh, if you could throw light on uh, what Jalil is saying and at the same time if there has been any response coming in from the BJP government. As of now, see what the AIMIM has put forth is a stance that it has been firm on for quite some time. Now, the renaming of Aurangabad or of Usmanabad to uh, Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar or to Dhara Shiv is something that each and every consecutive government has proposed. And that is why we have seen that the AIMIM has slammed the Congress and the NCP as well, saying that they should also put forth the stance. They've called this step dictatorial. They've said that this will purely create a problem because you cannot change history of a country and people, students cannot tear off textbook pages for this. This clearly indicates that both uh, Sambhajit Nagar as well as Dharashiv, uh, where there has been a continuous stance by both the factions of the Shiv Sena mm. now and by the BJP that this is, uh, you know, propounding and going ahead with the Hindutva uh, kind of an understanding of history where uh, the names of the cities or of roads will be changed as per uh, the historic connotation. Now, that the AIMIM says is a problematic construct because history cannot be changed. Clearly, in Maharashtra, we have seen that all the political parties across the spectrum have tried to take credit for this. While it has been done, much to the chagrin of the Congress and the NCP, which couldn't say much when in the last few days of this uh, of the previous MBA government, uh, Uthav Thakre pushed ahead for this agenda and right. changed the names of both Aurangabad as well as Usmanabad. Now that the central clearance has come for it and Ekna Chinde's faction of Shiv Sena and BJP have taken credit for the move, clearly the AIMIM flags the concern yet again and says that this is dictatorial in nature and the opposition of the party towards such moves should continue has also challenged the Congress and the NCP right. to come ahead and put forth its stance. Absolutely. And Vinaya, important to also talk about the political dimensions involved over here because going by what Jalil is saying, I see the AIMIM in fact challenging the uh, entire uh, political bureaucracy of Maharashtra because let's not forget, as you rightly mentioned, this was a decision taken by the other faction of Shiv Sena and that was uh, the Uddhav Thakri faction. And of course, that was a government which was also supported by the NCP. Well, yes, I mean, if you look at the political dynamic further, you also have to understand that uh, at least in Aurangabad, which has now been named as Sambhaji Nagar, AIM, AIMIM has much at stake. Uh, Imtiaz Jalil comes from there. Uh, the party has plans to fight a local uh, poll from there. It has constantly been uh, in tussle with the Shiv Sena over several issues there. Uh, so, you know, it is something where uh, there is skin in the game for the AIMIM to raise these issues. 
because they directly affect them their electorate and when they will go ahead to seek votes within less than a year now they will have to talk about what did they do when the government did take such steps so for the aimi it is not just raising an issue it is raising an issue in constituencies where they have stake where they have an mp and where they very much have plans of political expansion absolutely and do you think as you rightly mentioned the uh, elections next year uh, this entire controversy or rather this issue could sort of uh, if not galvanized adequately by the ai mim uh, may just place them on the back foot and perhaps that's one reason why jalil is also calling for that morcha uh, well if you see the ai mim definitely wants to consolidate its position over this particular stance Uh, as we have uh, seen that you know it is the poll year coming ahead at least its own voter base would like to see that the party did take some action whether it will lose votes from this or not is not something that can be said right now because this is just one of the issues uh, that will be picked up and it will be important for aimim electorate to understand that the party did pick up this issue as against all other political parties which haven't even talked about it or have on the other hand gone ahead and claimed credit for it uh, so you know that is one space which the aimim would not like to leave where irrespective of whatever the result of taking up this issue the fact that it has taken up this issue and will stand for it should uh, in some sense be an address to the voter bank that the aimim plans to move particularly in maharashtra in places where it has a lot at stake Absolutely, and what will this mean for the ruling BJP and the Eknath Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena? It doesn't really mean much for both of them at this point in time because clearly that is not the vote bank that they are looking to eye in the first place. That is not, uh, you, you know, while uh, we have seen that uh, Shiv Sena has a strong ground in Aurangabad, that is the Uddhav Thakre faction of the Shiv Sena. It has played on the Hindutva plank. if anything it will only strengthen uh, the plank of the bjp and the shiv sena further because that is the hindutva ground on which the party has played politics in marathwada as well for all these years absolutely and and when we talk about bjp's drive to change names of mughal era cities in india has been opposed but that certainly is not uh, not impacted bjp's decision to do so Uh, well it has been and that has been a political stance that has been taken by the party to woo its own electoral and voter base so if you see there are completely different voter bases that these parties are trying to woo and each party is taking up a political stance that will help consolidate its own position among its voter base so while the bjp has not been deterred by the kind All of right. objection vinaya that- i'm so sorry to interject right now because i'm also joined in uh, by khalimul hafiz of the aim uh, aim i am right now uh, mr hafiz uh what would you like to say i i know uh, mr jalil is now preparing for a morcha for the orangabadis as he's asked them to now show up in full strength but so far we've seen this has not really impacted the decisions of the ruling government and that is the bjp of course uh, as far as maharashtra is concerned the eknath shinde faction of the shiv sena as well uh, but how confident are you that you will be able to impact the uh, scenario as of now देखिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने एक संस्कृति बनाई है पूरे देश में कि कुछ काम तो करना नहीं है नया कुछ करना नहीं है जो पुरानी चीजें हैं उन्हीं को तोड़ मरोड़ के पेश करके और एक ध्रुवीकरण और एक वर्ग विशेष को टारगेट करने की राजनीति करनी है सवाल ये है कि जो हमारे बुजुर्ग हैं चाहे वो संभाजी महाराज हों या छत्रपति शिवाजी हों या कोई और भी बुजुर्ग हों ज्योतिबा फुले हों या डॉक्टर भीमराव अंबेडकर साहब हम सबकी इज्जत करते हैं लेकिन हम उनके नाम की राजनीति नहीं करते तो आज जो औरंगाबाद सिटी जो एक सदियों से मशहूर सिटी है जो औरंगाबाद ही उसको मोहब्बत करते हैं तो ये काम पहले उद्धव ठाकरे ने किया वो भी आलोकतांत्रिक था और उन्होंने क्या औरंगाबाद के लोगों से पूछा क्या वो लोग औरंगाबाद के लोगों की ये डिमांड है ये सिर्फ अपनी राजनीति को चमकाने के लिए और अपनी नकली बोल जी मुझे मैं माफी चाहूंगी बहुत बहुत आई एम रनिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम एंड वील हैव टू खुद